First off, you're gonna need fruit juice. I'm making white wine mixed in with strawberry, white grape, and guava. You can use apples, cherry, and any sort of berries. Get a clean, large bottle. Make sure to wash it thoroughly. Everything in this video can be found in your local supermarket. A funnel to make less of a mess. Sugar, either white or brown. Baking yeast. A cup for measuring. Rubber bands. And a glove or condom. Make sure to clean the glove to remove the powdery substance or lube in the condom. Put a cup of yeast. And a shit ton of sugar. The more sugar you put, the more alcoholic it would be. I put a cup. I'm mixing in concentrated juice, which already has a lot of sugar, to make this wine sweet and alcoholic. When you see bubbles, it means it's working. The sugar, juice, and yeast are interacting. Cover the top of the bottle with a glove or a condom. Use the rubber bands to hold them tightly in place. Make sure the air cannot escape. Pin a tiny hole at the top with something small like a needle. This is so the bottle wouldn't explode when during fermentation. Shake it like you mean it. Check if the glove or condom is turning into a balloon, which means it's working. Keep it in a cool, dry place for a minimum of two weeks. I kept mine for three. Now to transfer bottles. You'll see that there is sediment at the bottom. Make sure not to drink this. It could give you a serious stomach ache. 
Using the funnel, transfer the alcohol, but be careful not to get that yucky stuff into the other bottle. Pour the rest into the drain. You can choose to leave the bottle for another two weeks or enjoy a glass of your new made wine. This is Joffy, the traveling bear. If you liked the video, like, comment, and subscribe. If you didn't like the video, like, comment, and subscribe anyway. Let's be honest, my owners need all the help they can get. And don't forget to click the bell so you would get a notification whenever a new video is up. See you next time on Munchie Power Adventures.